What's up everyone, it's San here from Easy Crypto. Now in this video, I'll be talking about what are NFTs and how do they work. So NFTs have been a very popular term over the last uh, six months in the crypto industry and they have been getting a lot of media attention. So I'm guessing that most of you uh, that are watching this video have already heard about NFTs to a certain extent or people in everyday life are even talking about them and then you start seeing news media also talk about NFTs and it's become quite a popular space within the crypto do Scene. So first of all, what is an NFT? Now this Easy Crypto article, the link will be down in the description below so you can read into further detail uh, from our Learn part of our website as well. So by definition, an NFT means non-fungible token. It's a type of digital asset like Bitcoin and Ethereum that can represent a unique, tangible or intangible digital property and or goods. Similar to cryptocurrencies, NFTs exist on a decentralized network of computers called a blockchain. So what differentiates NFTs and cryptocurrencies is the non-fungible aspect of NFTs, hence the name. Non-fungible means that NFTs are individually unique and cannot be directly exchanged for one another. Each NFT contains information that allows it to be easily verifiable and can be tracked or sorry traced back to the original creator. Another way to think of NFTs are like digital signatures that can serve as a way to prove authenticity and ownership of a digital asset. So I'm just going to quickly go over one of the first forms of NFT that became very very popular and it came very very popular years and years and years ago and that was Crypto Kitties. Now kind of uh, in 2021 Crypto Kitties hasn't uh, been such a big name but 2017 Crypto Kitties was quite popular and in 2018 uh, but it has died off a wee bit. Now Crypto Kitties is basically um, you can create and grow your own kittens and they come with different aspects and different variables that make these um, kittens either a rare type of kitten or a very common type of kitten so they have different characteristics different looks different personality traits and things like that and depending on how rare of a kitten that you might be able to um, get by breeding them together um, that can create quite a valuable nft crypto kitty now of course these nfts are only valuable if someone is willing to pay the price um, that you are selling it for therefore the crypto kitty craze was quite a big news piece in 2017 um, as some of these kittens were trading for well over 50,000 US dollars um, and at the end of the day a lot of people might not understand the value behind this because at the end of the day it just looks like a cartoon kitten on a computer screen or a digital screen uh, but it goes back to that NFT aspect um, where it is unique and you are the digital owner and it can be verified as the one and only um, type of crypto, crypto kitty sorry out there in the crypto kitty universe and if you own it therefore it might have potential value as it is a rare item if you are able to get a rare kitten now of course this is kind of more like the fun side of this and for a lot of people they look at this and they kind of just laugh about that uh, but NFTs are starting to get a bit more advanced almost like over in the USA how old baseball cards can be very highly valuable how people used to collect them and over time if they've kept them in a mint condition and they can be verified by an expert as being legitimate cards um, they can be worth quite a bit as they are very very rare to get mint condition versions of these old baseball cards from back in the day and there's a huge community of people that are willing to collect them and pay the price to be able to get a hold of them um, for their own personal collection so NFTs are basically a digital version of that uh, when you look into something like crypto kitties. Now of course this obviously starts to get a bit more advanced and there are different types of NFTs that are starting to emerge and personally uh, I'm not too interested in NFTs right now but I definitely do see the potential in the coming years um, for many different things just in normal everyday life where NFTs could be used quite largely and um, benefit overall society. So OpenSea, I just found OpenSea uh, looking for a NFT digital marketplace. Basically I just wanted to give you guys an example of different types of NFTs. So there are obviously lots of different art you can actually get uh, digital versions of art and there could be a few different copies available for sale or it might only just be one now if it's just one that could bring more value to it as like I said before it becomes a very rare item but you also will need a market of people that actually want to be able to collect that item and own it at some given point uh, therefore they would want to buy it and this is something else that gets a wee bit more interesting that I've just found here on OpenSea ice cap diamonds ice cap LLC sounds sells NFT tokens, um, each representing claim on a specific diamond stored in an insured vault in New York City. The RC721 based tokens may be bought, sold or redeemed. So basically these NFTs are claiming that if you own one of these NFTs, 
um, you are owning a diamond that is stored in a vault in New York City. Therefore, they kind of will always have some term of value because people will want to buy them. Now, I definitely would do my own research before I buy into any of these to make sure it's all verified and legitimate. Um, but that's another form of NFT. So we've just looked at CryptoKitties, which is kind of a, a fun collectible item uh, with cartoon kittens, which you can breed. Uh, then we looked at art. Art is a, another form of NFTs that are out there right now. Then we've also got this here where it actually represents a real claim in real life stored in a vault of a diamond. And you can see the information on the diamond that you are either bidding or buying um, as a digital NFT. So that's very, very interesting. Now, how these work, these usually operate on a blockchain and Ethereum is probably the most popular NFT blockchain at the moment. There are some smaller upcoming coins and blockchains that are looking at accepting NFTs in the near future and it's looking to become a really big industry. Now, something that I do want to mention though is that a lot of the popular NFTs that have been coming out over the last six months are from celebrities. It almost seems like celebrities are just trying to make a quick buck out of NFTs and therefore quite a few people have a negative view against the NFT market and industry but my own personal opinion going forward I believe that NFTs will be a big part of society maybe not so much in the the crypto kitty type scene or maybe the art scene maybe that we quite an exclusive group um, but in my eyes I could see NFTs being used for tickets for events massive concerts um, and it would make it a lot easier and different um, compared to traditional ticket systems where you have to use a big ticket company where it costs a lot, they manage all the systems for you. Instead, if you could just turn up to a venue or event, show your ticket um, that's stored against your own identity on the blockchain, it can be verified completely and quickly because it's all open and transparent. That would be a great way to do ticketing for concerts and events in my own opinion and that could be an nft in itself and if you, even if you look back in the day when people used to go to massive concerts like michael jackson or queen some people will hold on to their tickets as a um, memorable piece of some part of history that they went to maybe michael jackson's concert in 1995 um, and they'll hold on to that but could you imagine if it was an nft it would be digital um, and you could actually sell that ticket after the concert if you would like if someone would like to collect it for um, that own reason to be able to say, you know, I've got a ticket from Michael Jackson's 1995 concert. So that's one way that I can see NFTs working in the future. Not only that, but when it comes to like property management certificates and rights to owning land and vehicles and all sorts of things, that's another way that NFTs could be put into normal society and you could instantly verify who actually owns what and it would be open source on the blockchain. It would be really, really interesting. So basically why NFT is important, I kind of just mentioned that the pros prospect of being able to authenticate a digital property has many potential groundbreaking applications in the future. The advent of NFTs open up the possibility of commodifying digital properties ranging from artwork, photographs, tweets, video game items, or any digital creations you can think of. So that's another way you could do it as well. Video game items, rare items in video games. Uh, if you guys aren't too clued up on this type of the industry, there are some really popular video games on the platform Steam um, and they do have their own marketplace for items but they're not completely transparent with how many items are out there who owns them and things like that um, whereas if it was an NFT type system that these items were run on um, it could be an open marketplace and be much more transparent so that's really cool to see. Imagine having a digitally signed autograph of your favorite artist or one of a kind digital artwork from Banksy. NFTs can be crafted to represent these items and provide proof of immutable ownership within the token through a cryptographic hash function. For digital creators being able to create artwork and sell directly to a global audience without having to rely on galleries or third parties is a game changer. This means they'll be able to keep larger portions of any sales they make compared to having to cut a percentage of their profit to third parties. So NFT, like I said, I believe it is quite a hyped market at the moment. There's a lot of news media out there talking about it and um, kind of a lot of exposure, a lot of celebrities jumping on the bandwagon and making their own NFTs. And I feel like a lot of those are kind of quick cash grabs. But in the coming years and decades, like I said, where NFTs could be used for so many different functions within society, I believe NFTs, possibly on the Ethereum blockchain or another blockchain in the near future, are going to be a huge part um, of our future society. So it's really, really interesting. And I do highly recommend if you enjoyed learning a little bit from this video here through Easy Crypto, 
go out there and do some more of your own research on NFTs, do some deep diving and see if there's any kind of NFT industry that you yourself are interested in, whether it's collecting art, photographs, tweets, signed signatures, um, or even if you want to buy diamonds that are stored in a vault over in the States, there are so many different options out there for NFTs at the moment. So maybe just go and do some of your own research on that. Now, apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, do leave them down below. My name is San from Easy Crypto, and I'll see you in our next video.